1,200 metres. In the second, Peak and Pepper, a little bit restless. Settles, 1,200 metres, they sprinting away from the 1,200 metre marker and already made a very good beginning on the stand side. Now taking the leaders, Dancing Arrow, Fantasy Lane's pacing it with them, Rapare in the middle with the yellow, Jungle Princess in the light blue is also well positioned shortly after the start. They are being followed by Under the Sun, who's about three, four lengths off them, then Swinging Dancers on the stand side in the orange. They are followed by Rose Gentle. Down the inside is Raise the Rent with the blue cap just in front of Antonia Fraser. Grail Maidens being niggled at with about three or four to go, and Special Assignments tucked away three lengths off the lead. As they approach the 500 meter mark, I tell you, Audrey's come under a big ride. Audrey's under a lot of pressure and Rapara moves in. On the stand side, Fantasy Lane still there. Raise the rent, Jungle Princess. Audrey's very green under big pressure, then special assignment. Trying to run on a swinging dancer as they pass the 100. Raise the rent coming home powerfully at Fantasy Lane. Fantasy Lane and Raise the Rent. These are the two from Rapara, Jungle Princess. Audrey's now kicking late. Here comes Audrey absolutely flying down the inside. Grail Maiden. Grail Maiden got up on the line, won it. Second blazing race the rent. Then came Audrey. What a finish to the running of the second. Well, the unraced horse number seven, Grail Maiden, a Galileo filly owned by the Summerhill uh, gang. You can see the silks here. Anton, very good debut. Well, yes, I thought so. You know, I must be honest, going through about the 400, the second one went past her about three lengths. I thought, all right, well, you know, it's her first run. I'm just going to go through the motions. You know, I'm not going to be too hard on her. In the last 50, I said, okay, well, here we go. <laughs> you know, yeah, so it was nice. How's the course? Uh, sticky, which I think which is pretty self-explanatory, the amount of rain they've had over here. But uh, it'll be all right, Paul. Well done. Nice surprise. Yeah, you know, Paul, she's a lovely filly. She's shown decent work all the way through. Uh, as you can see, she's a very light filly. She only weighs 408 kilos, I think. Yeah. And she's a long striding filly, and uh, for her to get up and win today was an exceptional performance. I think she's, there's a lot to look forward to with her. Any more from your side? That's the one runner. Thanks very much. Obviously, a uh, very good luck to uh, Mickey Goss and Summer Hill uh, Syndicate, and obviously to Joey as well. Lovely. There we go. There's Roy Orbison. And uh, Grail Maiden has won a very good race. Well done, as said, Mickey and the gang, and Joey, and uh, a good debut. They thought it would need further being by Galileo, but has rallied to win a good race.